I think I am like every human on this planet. The chimpanzees are our closest living relative. They look sometimes so incredibly similar to us. And, you know, they behave like humans. They use tools. So there is a fascination because when you look at the behavior of the chimpanzees, you somewhere see something about us there. Fresh algaes. Christoph has been a leader in chimpanzee conservation in West Africa for decades. His passion for conservation is well known and he has been instrumental in creating national parks as a tool for permanent protection of the environment and the chimpanzee populations in these countries. Dr. Christoph Bosch is an academic administrator, a professor, and a researcher. But he's also an explorer, a pioneer, and thankfully, a warrior for the survival of beings with whom we share so much. Bush's lifelong dedication to studying and saving primates began early in his career when he worked with mountain gorillas in Rwanda under the legendary Dr. Diane Fossey. In his early 20s, he shifted his focus to the Ivory Coast of Africa, where he has spent much of the last four decades studying the behavior and habitats of one of our closest relatives, the chimpanzee. When you start, I had no idea how to find the chimpanzees. There is no path, there is no way. You can lose your way in a second. They all are extremely scared of you. So when we spent our first two years in the forest, we only saw black shadows running away. At Thai National Park, Dr. Bosch created the Pan-African Chimpanzee Program, studying an aspect of chimpanzee life that most might overlook, their culture. Developing a new understanding of the rich complexities of the chimpanzee, it also led to a grim discovery of the perils facing them. There were illegal loggings going on everywhere in Africa. The forest is being destroyed, cut. And that, you know, made it very clear to me that you can't be just in your ivory tower as a scientist. You need also to consider what is going on with nature. Agricultural deforestation and hunting over many decades resulted in chimpanzee populations dropping to critical levels. Dr. Bosch and his wife Hedwig created the Wild Chimpanzee Foundation, which protects chimpanzees by preserving their habitats. To date, WCF has established protected lands in the Ivory Coast, Liberia, and Guinea, engaging local farmers and policymakers to protect chimpanzee habitat while finding balance in their own way of life. What species is this one? Sekel espessa. We are working with the farmers. We are also showing them how to do it because we know once we leave, it is very important for the farmer to understand why it is important to, to leave trees on the farm. This has been a driving thinking in our project to keep this coexistence alive, working with the local communities, because otherwise it will never work. Thanks to Dr. Bosch's Wild Chimpanzee Foundation, the 500 chimpanzees remaining at Thai National Forest will have their best opportunity for survival. The same is true of the Moyen Bafing region in Guinea, home to the world's largest remaining chimpanzee population. He inspires you just by his passion. If somebody can love nature this much, then there must be a lot of value in it. I feel actually adept toward the chimpanzees. They had allowed me to make my life as a researcher successful, and now I think also that I need to pay back something for the chimpanzees. There's a lot of hope, and the, the, the hope is that we have um, national parks uh, everywhere and that it will be a source of uh, well-being for the whole of humanity. The only way to improve things is to continue to fight. Yeah.